Time now for everybody's favorite guessing game, What's My Line? Remington Rand, makers of the Remington, the world's number one electric shaver, present What's My Line? And now, let's meet our award-winning What's My Line panel. First, the distinguished publisher and columnist for This Week magazine, Mr. Bennett Cerf. This is a big night for What's My Line. You know that Dorothy Kilgallen had a little boy the other day, and it looks as though the beautiful lady on my right's been giving birth, too, because Miss Francis, if you look closely, has that little diamond heart around her neck, but that's given birth to a little <laughs> diamond inside of her. <laughs> Miss Arlene Francis. I was nervous there for a moment, Bennett. Thank you. <laughs> And on my right, a young man who has just returned from Washington, where he entertained at the White House press photographer's annual banquet, and I am sure won first prize, Mr. <laughs> Steve Allen. Well, it's uh, not news anymore. Uh, we've had several reports about the uh, happy birth of Dorothy's new baby, <laughs> which is called Carrie, for those of you who would like to know. And I understand weighed about... Uh, Seven pounds, 14 ounces. Seven pounds, 14 ounces? <laughs> if you're watching, Dorothy, and there's been any gain, give us a call. <laughs> uh, which brings me now around to the introduction of a very attractive young lady who, as the old saying goes, needs no introduction. Filling in for her good friend, Dorothy Kilgallen, tonight, your good friend, Miss Margaret Truman. Thank you. And um, across the stage from us, my favorite moderator, John Daly. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to What's My Line, which is going to leave the normal track about now and ask the panel to please put their masks on. We're going to have two mystery guests tonight, and we're going to have the show start off with one. So please get your masks on. And once again tonight, of course, as is our usual custom, we will have our cameras close up on some nice folks with some very interesting occupations. We trust so interesting that they'll give the panel a good deal of trouble. Uh, we'll also have... Uh, famous guest challenger after the first famous guest challenger because we're having two mystery guests tonight. Now, are the masks all in place, panel? Mm -hmm. yes. Good. Then I will ask our first mystery challenger to come out and sign in, please. In the case of our mystery celebrities, we always get right down to the general questioning without wasting any time. So we'll begin that general questioning with Miss Margaret Truman. Ooh. <laughs> um, are you connected with the theater? I think you no. just left this one, weren't we? <laughs> no. No. That's good. That's one down and nine to go, Mr. Allen. Um. Hmm. They're off. Sure. So far, I'm not doing so well here. Are you a woman? Yes. If you're not connected with the theater, I think we could use you. <laughs> oh, dear. Are you, uh, you are a public figure, of course. Are you in, perhaps in the political arena? No. <laughs> That's two down and eight to go, Miss Francis. You're not in the entertainment business and you're not in politics, are you? That's three down to go, Mr. Sir. Well, this is a strange bit of hocus pocus. I wonder if you could have anything whatever to do with this famous new baby of Dorothy Kilgallen. Yes! <laughs> well, you're not the baby, Yobbs. I <laughs> Even Dorothy couldn't do that. Uh, were you uh, anywhere in the vicinity when this baby came into the world. Well, what do you call vicinity, Mr. Sir? Well, somewhere within the environs of the Leroy Sanitarium where the baby was born. No. No? That makes it four down and six to go, Miss Truman. Oh, that sounded like a rather qualified... Hmm, how confusing can we get? Um, they have something to do with the new baby? Well, in a manner of speaking, but they yes. Were... 
<laughs> You're not in the theatrical world at all? No. That makes it five down. Five to go, Mr. Allen. Oh. <laughs> no. Miss Arlene, contain yourself. <laughs> I had what Dorothy called a weenie. <laughs> well, well, she passing had. it over here. I, <laughs> I'm going hungry myself. Well, you're not a babysitter, that's for sure. I don't know what the heck you are. Uh, are you the baby's godmother or something of that sort? No. That's six down and four to go, Miss Francis. Are you a member of Miss Kilgallen's family? Yes. Uh, are you... Um... Dorothy's mother. Are you, uh... The mother or daughter of Dorothy Kilgallen? I've Dad. missed the sister. What? Dad. Yes? Well, if you were the daughter, there would be no reason for you to disguise your voice. Uh, because I don't think we'd know it. Are you the mother of Dorothy Kilgallen? <laughs> no. That... <laughs> well, that doesn't leave me a very wide choice, does it? Uh, are you the uh, young daughter of Dorothy Kilgallen? No. Good <laughs> heavens. <laughs> Bennett, you were about half right, so you go ahead. Oh, it's a, oh, uh, are you, an, are you the, possibly the other, the little boy, the son of Dorothy Gilgal? No. <laughs> Again, you were half right. Now, do you want to try for the um, jackpot this trip? Are okay. they both of the kids? Yes, that's right. <laughs> Colmar, and since we couldn't have our great and very good and dear friend Dorothy with us tonight, it was wonderful to have two of her youngsters. We're a little <laughs> bit sorry that Carrie Arden, her new son, couldn't be with us too, but perhaps we can take care of that later on. All right, now let's get down to the regular thing. Would you sign in, please, ma'am? Betty Levesque. Miss or Mrs.? Mrs. Mrs. Levant. Uh, would you tell us where you're from? I'm from San Juan, Puerto Rico. San Juan, Puerto Rico. Yes. Well, how nice. I don't think we've had anybody from Puerto Rico for a long time. Would you like to go meet our panel? Yes. Just walk down that way and sell it. Say hello. Hello. How are you? Hi. All right. Now, Mrs. Levan, will you come over here and sit down next to me? And at this point, I think you might know that the panel gets one free guess as to what your line may be on the basis of their very brief acquaintanceship with you. And we begin the free guesses with Miss Margaret Truman. Well, since on this show nobody looks like what they actually do, I think, um, I think she plays second base for the Dodgers. <laughs> <laughs> I think maybe she's a physical culture expert. Miss Francis. The trapeze performer. Mr. Seth. I think she has something to do with the administration of the government affairs down there. No, I'm afraid not. We'll let our viewers have a further look at Miss Betty Levan at the same time. We will tell them what her line is, but the panel's got the date. <laughs> All right, Miss Levan, the rules are very simple. I think since you are up from Puerto Rico, I may have to uh, explain them in more detail than I would normally. Every time you can give the panel a no answer, it costs the panel $5, and we flip a card here. Ten of these flips, and you have won the game. You all set? I'm ready. All right. Miss Levan is salaried. With that, let's begin the general questioning with Steve Allen. You deal in a service of any kind, Miss Levan? Yes. <laughs> uh, <laughs> 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 I guess we'll find out soon enough. Question around here. Could I avail myself of your services? Yes. Would I come to you uh, to accomplish that end? Yes. Uh, do your services ever make people uh, happy in any way? Sometimes. Sometimes. And does that mean that you might also make people unhappy or uncomfortable in some manner? Yes. Uh, 
Could any of your uh, clients or customers or whatever they are possibly be on the tubby side? Yes. <laughs> Uh, do they visit you perhaps on a fairly regular basis by way of improving their condition? Yes, yes. I would say that they visit with regularity in the hopes of improving their condition. Yeah. After you uh, get through with them, are they ever any lighter? Yes. <laughs> yes, I, I think that's a fair description. I think it's a part of... Uh, our normal, shall we say, patois, to describe them as sometimes being lighter. Normal patois, eh? <laughs> <laughs> Ah, dear. Do you ever put people in steam cabinets? <laughs> no. <laughs> One down and nine to go, Miss Francis. Do you have anything at all to do with the law in Puerto Rico? No. Two down and eight to go, Mr. Sir. I want to get one thing straight for myself, Miss LeVan. Do you work possibly for a non-profit making organization? <laughs> no. <laughs> Three out of seven to go, Miss Truman. I don't get that. Let me have just a small conference, please. Just a conference, John. No jokes. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Something straightened out. I hope you'll excuse the interruption. Three down and seven to go, Miss Truman. But she deals in surfa services. Yes. Yeah. And maybe surfaces too. And that works. <laughs> I'm nervous. Um, and she works for a non-profit organization. No, I oh, believe no. it has been found that she works for a a profit-making organization. That's Thank right. You. Well, this, this services are they given equally to men and women? Yes. They're available equally to men and women. Oh, available. Well, um, does it, um, in giving this service, do you have to be indoors? Yes. But do you go to the people? No. No, it has been, in, actually, I think that nails down the fact that the people come to Miss Levan, Mrs. Levan. That's uh, four down and six to go, Mr. Allen. The audience laughed uh, mm -hmm. a lot when the point of profit-making was brought up. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> One time yes. is good. <laughs> Let's say we hope so. Could it possibly have anything to do with gambling or money or something like that, sir? Thank yes. you, audience. Sounded <laughs> <laughs> like a big gasp at the right moment to clear the air. Uh, you have something to do with gambling. Yes. You're on the right side of the table, I hope. <laughs> uh, you work in a gambling house, do you? Yes. Are you a, uh, something like a croupier, something of that sort? Yes. Well, I think you're being generous, but I, it's something like a croupier. It's not exact, though, mm -hmm. but since Mrs. Levan has given you a yes, would you like to, uh, I don't know, you uh, run a crap game or something? <laughs> Steve, I'm going to give you a no. Five down and five to go. Well, do you run a gambling uh, uh, place in Puerto Rico? Did Mrs. Levan run a gambling place in Puerto Rico? Did That's six she... down and four to go, Mr. Sir. Mrs. Levan, are you in charge of... Uh, no. Have you something to do with the, with the croupiers? Do you keep them honest or try to? <laughs> Seven down and no. go. There's a clue to this which came very early in the questioning. Miss Truman. Well, men are lighter. You said she takes the money. Well, she, you said something about, she said yes for a croupier. Cashier. Well, I'm a store, but that's not exact enough. Cashier. Well, does she, does she deal? Deal is the word, right. <laughs> You'll remember when you asked the first question, do you deal in services, there was a ripple of laughter from the audience? Oh. That's yeah. why, you see? Well, now, let's see. Mrs. Levan, it looks like you were a very good dealer. You dealt yourself a pretty good prize. We also hope you feel you dealt yourself a good time, because it was nice to have you on our program. And all the can way I tell Rico. the people where I work? You certainly can. At the Condado Beach Hotel. The Condado Beach Hotel in Puerto Rico. Very nice to have you here. We come to the special feature of our program for the second time tonight. It'll be the appearance of a mystery celebrity. My friends in the panel once again have... They're blindfolds on. They're all in place, are they, panel? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Good. Yes. Will you come in, Mystery Challenger, and sign in, please? <laughs> all right. You join me here and 
panel, as you know, in the case of our mystery challenge, to the general questioning, which we will begin with Miss Arlene Francis. Are you Dorothy Kilgallen's mother? No. <laughs> <laughs> Are you a member of the entertainment world? Yes, brother. <laughs> Are you uh, a performer? Yes. Appeared <laughs> in pictures? On occasion. Do I detect something other than an American accent? I should think, unless you were quite stupid. <laughs> <laughs> we do, uh, don't want to mislead you, Miss Arlene. You do detect same. Well, are you, by any chance, not an American? Quite. Are you an Englishman? On my mother's side, brother, yes. <laughs> Have you appeared in uh, nightclubs? Never. Never? Oh, well, then it isn't too often. Never. Do you have an offer? <laughs> <laughs> if it was who I thought it was, I certainly would want to have an offer to have him appear here in America. Now, that's one thousand and nine to go, and I think perhaps there's an area in which you might have been misled somewhat. Our guest is American-born. Oh, I'm sorry. And he was, um, as we heard, uh, partially English, only by reason of his uh, mother's birth. Uh, that makes it one down and nine to go, Mr. Sir. Well, in other words, that English accent then was uh, one that you affected just to fool us on this program. Is that correct? Don't, don't, don't. And uh, was that a feat performance uh, also affected? And is that tough voice that I just heard more normal than the other one? <laughs> I should think that would be relevant for you to decide. I should think no would be the answer. Did I think no is the answer? Two down and eight to go, Miss Truman. Did we establish that he's a performer? What else? Yes. <laughs> well, I don't know, you know, a lot of producers like him. Um, he's a performer. In movies? On occasion, yes, Miss Truman. Uh, have you also performed on television? Yes, occasionally. I don't like this. Um, <laughs> do you perform on television regularly? Seven to go, Mr. Allen. Might you be described as a leading man? Thank you very much. Sir. <laughs> <laughs> Seemly modesty here. Yes, Steve. Uh, are you predominantly that rather than also a singer or a trumpet player or something of that sort? You're predominant there, lady. <laughs> Great dominance. <laughs> Are you accustomed to dealing in comedy? No. Not basically. I think we'd give you a no there. Four down and six to go, Miss Francis. Are you appearing at the present time in a play in New York? No. Five down and five to go, Mr. Sir. Do, do you do anything else beside act? <laughs> no. Six no. down and four to go, Miss Truman. He, he doesn't appear... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, let's see. Find out if he's a living American. <laughs> I didn't hear that one. <laughs> he said to find out if he was a living American. <laughs> <laughs> well, I often ask myself. <laughs> I can't distinguish any tense. You act primarily then in um, tragedy, as long as you don't do comedy so much. I mean, or, or um, straight plays and straight television, straight movies, things like that. Act them so I have to mix them up a bit. <laughs> does a little Daddy bit of all Kay of it. Daddy doesn't have an English mother, does he? <laughs> He does all of them, then. You do comedy, drama. Do you all of them? Sounds to me like a comedian. <laughs> <laughs> um, you're a leading man. Yeah. 
Have you been on Broadway recently? No. Oh, what do you mean by recently? Well, within this past season. No. That's seven down and three to go, Mr. Allen. Have you made a uh, motion picture in the last year that we might have seen fairly recently? Yes. Hmm. Was it in black and white? <laughs> yes. <laughs> dear, 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 dear. Are you over 25? <laughs> Thank you, Mr. Allen. That's as far as I go, but I just wanted to rule out uh, the Bobby Sox group. <laughs> Do you have uh, dark hair rather than light? No. Yes. Oh, my goodness. Do you have brown eyes? Yes. <laughs> so far, you might be me. I don't know. <laughs> uh, was your picture made in Europe? I beg your pardon, was, was the recent picture to which we're referring filmed in Europe? New. No. Eight down and two to go, Miss Francis. Have you been in films for... I beg your pardon, it was. It's quick, quick. Oh, it was? Oh, no. quick, quick. I, sorry, old boy. We're we investing everything. We're going back up the hill. Quick, we say. Eight down and three to go, Mr. <laughs> Allen. You're still on dock, as we say. I certainly I am. am. <laughs> was your film made in Italy? New. That makes it eight down and two to go, Miss Francis. Have you been in pictures for a long time? Oh, ever so long. <laughs> more than ten years. Oh, much more. <laughs> Do ladies swoon over you in pictures? No. <laughs> All right, that makes it nine down and one to go, Mr. Sir. Well, I'm a slender reed. I have the vaguest idea. Was the picture made in England that you made? No. Margaret. Well, no, no, Miss Margaret has Margaret a, a weedy, I uh, think. Did you start out your career in radio? New. <laughs> that makes it 11 down and certainly no more to go. Panel, why don't you unmask and see who we've got? Jolly good luck to you. Oh. Stay, with you Stay with you. Stay with you. Stay with you. Before you go, I think as we all know, Frederick Marsh is one of those great talents and those great artists who has won the Academy Award twice. He's going to actually going to preside over the Academy Awards Thursday night. Thursday night of this week. But I think we have seen here an example of the simple and fine talents which have made him an Academy Award winner twice. <laughs> Thanks, <Thank you. laughs> A week ago, Wednesday night. You had dinner with him a week ago, Wednesday night. We're going to have done as well for a long time. We've had a telephone call from Dorothy Kilgallen. She says, Margaret looked wonderful and beautiful, with which we all agree. Thank you. Mom. She hoped that former President Harry was watching because future President Kerry was asleep. <laughs> with that... <laughs> with that, it's my uh, pleasure to compliment you Margaret Truman. Thank you. I've enjoyed it very much. Good night, Steve. <laughs> good night, Margaret. Good night, boys, and good night, Arlene. Well, thank <laughs> Good night, and good night, Carrie, and good night, Bennett. <laughs> but now I want to tell you just a few of the magazines. Uh, Radio and TV Mirror, Pageant, Better Homes and Gardens. In fact, the only one he isn't in is the Turkey Breeders Gazette. <laughs> good night, John. <laughs> and good night, ladies and gentlemen. Thanks for being with us on What's My Line. This has been a Mark Goodson, Bill Todman production in association with the CBS Television Network.